Hey there, it's Vicki Howell here to show you how to do the knitted Pico bind off. And you can see what that looks like here. It's just the little nubby portion that you're seeing right at the very edge. And it's a great way to add just a little bit of detailing just to finish off your project. I'm going to show you how it's done just using this basic stock in a, or excuse me, garter stitch piece that I've been working on. And if you happen to be working on the Shall We Wrap from Knit Simple Spring Issue, of 2012. This is the bind off that's used for both of the knitted edge options. So first you just start by binding off as you normally would if you were knitting two stitches. It says bind off knitwise and that just means plain old bind off. So there's one stitch two stitches. Okay. So now you place the stitch that's on the right hand needle back on the left hand needle. And then I usually set this needle down, but if you're handy enough to hold it, then rock on with your bad self. Then you're going to cast on two stitches. Now you can either do this um, using the knitted cast on version, or I find it's easier to do just sort of the E cast on. You make kind of a little cursive E put it on the needle. I do it around my thumb, put it on the needle. I, I find that it really doesn't matter what cast on method that you use, whatever you're most comfortable with. So now you have two extra stitches. And then from here, you're going to bind off four stitches. So those stitches you just cast on, you'll knit and bind off plus two more. So we're binding off One, two, three, four. And you can see what that has done is created your first little nubbin. I'm going to show you one more time. So you've bound off the four and now we have to start over from the beginning. So we slip the stitch that's on the right hand needle back onto the left hand needle and then cast on. Again you could do the knitted cast on which is pulling the stitches through here or if you're feeling lazy like I often do, the E cast on. One, two. All right, and then we're gonna bind off four. So this is binding off one, two, three, four. And that will create the second little little nubbin or whatever you like to call it. And you can see that it's really, it's sweet, it's small, especially if you're doing it against just a plain piece, but it does add a little bit of detailing and it's very, very easy. All right, that's all there is to it. Thanks.